Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. So here we are just past that peak of the hurricane season and uh, things are actually fairly quiet right now. Last week we had Danielle, we had Earl. Ne next name up on the list is Fiona. And, and I got to tell you, there is no immediate sign of Fiona on the map. We have two areas that we're watching out into the eastern Atlantic. Neither one of these really showing that high probability of development, both sitting at about 20% chance over the next five days. One of the big issues is something we've been talking about so much this season, that dry air. You see more of that dry Saharan air just kind of surrounding that one area, another area. Uh, this one here, very disorganized, but computer models actually pick up on this one a little bit more, but still don't do a whole lot with it. If anything develops, it is going to take some time. It has to get away from some of this dry air, which is just going to continue to work its way across the Atlantic. So as you watch the Fox model, again, you've got the big ridge sitting to the north. We have that dry air. We actually have relatively lower wind shear right now, so that isn't really a big issue. But here's that broad area of low pressure, that very disorganized system. And watch as we go through the next few days here, uh, just continues a fairly broad area of circulation working its way towards the Leeward Islands as we head into the second half of the week. That's an area we'll just continue to watch. The other area, you just don't see much developing with that as we go through the next few days. So if anything happens, it's going to take time. And we'll keep you updated right here on MyFoxHurricane.com.